Hey everybody, this is Rick and Christoph of the React Native core team at Facebook. Today we're kicking off our new video series on React Native, and we wanted to show you the new app screen in React Native. So Christoph, take it away. Well, thanks right. Rick for introducing us. Um, so today I just want to talk a little bit about the new app screen. If you've built a React Native app in, uh, app in the past couple of years, um, basically it looks something like this when you started for the first time. It just tells you, hey, welcome to React Native. It's a bit bland, right? So so we were thinking, hey, how can we make this like more polished and look a bit cool? So actually we built this new uh, screen. So in the next release of React Native, when you build a new app and you look at it for the first time, um, this is what it's going to look like. Um, so it's it looks more like an app. It looks more modern. It looks more like 2019. It tells you, hey, welcome to React. Here is what you what you can do. Here's how you edit your app JS. Um, how you reload your changes. How to debug them. Um, and the cool thing is, um, you know, when you're getting just when you're just getting started with React Native, you want to probably learn more and like read the documentation. So we included a bunch of really important links here. Um, so let's say I want to learn more about layout. You tap it and then the browser window should open, um, but nothing happens on the phone. Actually, it opened it on my laptop, which is pretty, pretty damn cool. Um, you can also go down here and if you like, follow us on Twitter, and then you see um, um, how it opens a, a new tab in my Chrome window. So I just want to um, quickly, go, quickly go through how we actually built this, because first off, we didn't build this. Um, this was all built by the React Native community, which is really amazing. So um, I just want to walk you through that process that we, that we took to, to, to work on this. So we have this repository called Discussions and Proposals. Um, and there, we just started like an issue, and we asked, hey, um, what do you think about the new app screen? You know, when somebody first experiences React Native, um, what do people um, see and like how could we improve that? And after we posted this, like a ton of people kind of just jumped in and they were like, hey, you know, here's what we could do. And then one of our friends, Orda, um, he um, spent um, a little bit of time on, on polishing um, this screen and he came up with a proposal and a bunch of people helped um, with more proposals and like it was a pretty long discussion, but it happened within like less than a week. And then we had a final proposal, and then there were three people actually who started implementing it. So it was um, Adam Sherson, um, then Karan Pratap Singh, and this person, Glauba Castro. Um, they all worked together on implementing this and sending a pull request. Um, so that was like a really awesome collaborative effort. Um, and then after we had that first pull request, there was still a little bit of work left to do. So we had all these components in the React Native repo, but this cool um, feature of like tapping something on your phone and opening it up on your computer's browser, um, all that stuff had to be built. So we had three more people that helped out. So there's um, Eric Lewis, um, Eli Perkins, and um, Lucas Bento, um, who jumped in on this issue that we then created on the React Native repo of like, here's the to-do list of the remaining things that we have to do. Um, and that also only took like a week to complete. So this process literally took like seven people from the community about two weeks of work, um, and they all collaborated and worked together to make this happen. So we're hoping that we can do more of those in the future. So if you're, uh, you're excited about contributing to React Native, look out for these things that we're tweeting about on our Re React Native Twitter account. All right, thank you.